Welcome to Open Den. I'm Faith Ballum. And I'm Matt Lasser. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. My mom, a breast cancer survivor, wants to let students know how they can support others going through similar experiences. The month of October is also known as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a month that is dedicated to increase and share the awareness of the disease. Ms. Jennifer Ballum shared her story and fight with this life-changing illness. It was devastating. It was, um, the doctor said, we need to come, we need you to come in and see us. And I knew there was something wrong the minute he called. My husband and I, I called him first and we went in and I knew it before he even said the word cancer. It was very scary. Uh, no one wants to hear those words, so you're just kind of, you just kind of sit back in your chair and in awe, really. It was the pink out volleyball game, and I was yelling at my dad because he wasn't taking me. And my dad kept saying, "We need to wait for your mom to come home. She needs to tell you and Emily something." And I knew that something was wrong. Um, just hearing that she had to tell us something. I knew that it wasn't a good sign. When my mom came home and told my sister and I, I didn't know what to think. Um, I was just really scared of what could happen. When Faith texted me in eighth grade, I was walking out of a volleyball game and I just looked at my phone and I immediately started crying. And my mom knew what was going on, so she just like put her arm around me and she told me it was gonna be okay, but at the time, I didn't know what was going to happen to Miss Jen, and I didn't know like how their family would be affected and how like it would change because of this. I feel like I'm a much stronger person, um, really digging deep inside and, and really um, sharing the emotions that are happening, all the different crazy things that are happening inside. Um, being able to share that with others is important. I feel like I don't take things for granted anymore. Uh, like I might have in the past, um, and really focus on each day and what a blessing it is. I know I'm not the only survivor um, at, as a parent at, at Reedy. Um, lots of other parents and grandparents um, have gone through this fight. The whole idea of, of the pink out, um, October pink out, is to be aware and to really step out of your comfort zone and be supportive of the other kids and the other parents um, and the other family members that are going through um, this fight. For Open Den, I'm Carlina Sample. Thank you, Faith, for sharing your story. This week is Red Ribbon Week. Students all over the country are joining together to stay away from drugs. Reedy students have many dreams. We'd like to remind you that your current choices will affect your future. To achieve your dreams, you need to respect yourself and others. What is your dream? There are two great days in a person's life. The day that they are born and the day that they discover why. For a while, I felt lost. Then I discovered the playground. It became a place of community where I knew I belonged. It was where I discovered sports and the red rubber ball. And that fueled my dreams. What's your red rubber ball? What would you do for free? What inspires you and gets you out of bed? What is your primal source of joy? What is your why? Because your second grade day awaits you. Are you chasing your ball? Or has it long been collecting dust, you know, in an old closet? Or are you still searching? The moment of discovery can find us at any stage of our life. As long as we're open to new experiences, ideas, and emotions, this dream can become your life's work if you let it.
What is your dream, and how do you plan to stay true to yourself and achieve them? We'll be right back after these short messages. Welcome to Reedy High School. Do you know the dress code? No? Me neither. That is why they are making us learn it. Because we are bad kids. Are you interested in creativity and making things with tools such as 3D printers? Talk to Mrs. Lambert about being in the Makers Club. The Makers Club is a club centered around creativity with basic engineering mixed in. From Legos to virtual reality headsets, the Makers Club has it all. Come to the library on November 15th before or after school to learn more about 3D printers in the club as a whole. Now, if your dream requires a college degree, listen up. Lauren Goodman has more information on how to prepare to get into the college of your dreams. This is the Frisco ISD College Fair. Students from all different schools get together for this yearly event to find out the requirements they need to get into the college they want. For these high schoolers, getting in will depend on a variety of things, including GPA and test scores. We're definitely going to look into their involvement while they were in high school, which could include extracurricular activities, um, jobs they've had, leadership positions, awards they've received, really anything they want to know about us, us to know about them that might not be included on their application. When we initially look at an applicant, we are looking at class rank and test score, but we realize not all students test well. So we do have the alternative admission where we take a time to look at who they are outside the classroom as well. And that's where extracurricular activities and leadership roles and honors and awards are looked at and considered for that admissions decision is made. Every admissions counselor we interviewed seemed to give a similar answer. And when I asked what kind of student they wanted at their campus, all of the admissions counselors say that they are looking for a well-rounded student. To meet those standards, many high schoolers are maxing out their schedules, which can be stressful. Extremely stressed, like every single night. Oh God, it's awful. To be honest, I don't really manage it. I just kind of like, I try to like suck it up and be like, okay, Grace, you can do this. But like, honestly, it doesn't work. And I just, I'm always stressed every single day. I need to like keep myself sane in order to keep going. So I do a lot of like, um, I guess you'd say meditation activities, like de-stress myself. But a lot of times I'm usually crying and having four or five cups of coffee and like two hours of sleep a night. Last night I did. I was working from the time my parents left to go drop my brother off to the time they got back, which was seven hours, to seven hours of complete homework. I mean, I think it's, I enjoy being busy and kind of challenging myself, but sometimes it does get very overwhelming, causes some emotional breakdown sometimes. Students studying for hours and being overbooked is a new status quo, and it seems that the popular opinion these days is that it's never too early to get started applying for college. From Open Den, I'm Lauren Goodman reporting. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Faith Ballum. And I'm Matt Lasser. Have a great day, Lions.